Hello, my name is Eric McAllister, and I'm an information technology engineer. I have over seven years in customer support experience. My main vision is to become a valued partner within a technical organization. Today, I'm going to show you a quick overview of how to use a web-based application called Aviary. There are a few things we should know about Aviary before we get started. The best feature of Aviary is that it's a free web-based application and it does not cost any money at all. Aviary was originally created in October of 2008 and the beta version was released to the public in February of 2009. Aviary does not have as many features as many of the popular creative suites on the market today. One of the main drawbacks to Aviary is that you can only save your images at 72 pixels per inch, which is not very high. Most web design companies save their images at around 600 pixels per inch. All you will need for Aviary is a computer as well as an internet connection. To get started, we will launch our internet browser. Today, we are using Mozilla Firefox. From the browser, we go to www.aviary.com. This will take us to the Aviary homepage. Let's take a quick look at all the tools. We have Phoenix, which is the image editor, which is very similar to Photoshop. We have Peacock, which we will be working with today in a brief tutorial. Then we have Falcon, which is used to crop images. We have Toucan, which is used to create colors, very similar to swatches. Then we have Raven, which you can use to create vector images from scratch. To create an account, you go to up to the top right and you do sign up. We will need to create an account in order to save all of our work. First, we will think of a username. In this case, I'll just use my email address. My email address is simply my name with the number 3 at the end. Then we will select why we are using the application. In this case, we're just playing around. Then we will select a password that is at least 5 characters long. Next, we will do the human check. I would not, not like to receive any newsletters, so I will not check here. I will agree to the terms of use, and I'll create my account. Next, we will take us to the friends on Aviary. We do not want to find any friends on Aviary at this time. Instead, we'll go back to the main page by clicking the Aviary icon in the top left. Notice how it now shows our username at the top of the page. Let's launch Peacock. We will click on Peacock and it will be opened in a new window. We'll start from scratch. Here we have our canvas. Our canvas is our main work area and we'll display our final product. On the left is a toolbox in which all kinds of stuff can be added. Let's start off just by adding a color field. To do it, we just click and drag it over. Notice that once we drop it, it will automatically connect to the canvas. We like to blend two different things together. To do this, we go to the controllers tab, select a blender, and drag it over. Notice that when you bring it between the two, it will automatically connect the two. We will now add a resource from the library I already created. From here, we will go to the left and click the resources tab. Notice we can import resources from Phoenix, Peacock, which we're currently working on, or vector images from Raven. We'll just leave it blank and select OK. From here, we will go to the Aviary library, which is a library that consists of creations already done by other users. Notice that you can see which tool they are using by the icon on the bottom right. We'll select this tree. Click it and select OK. Notice the tree is now in your resources. You click it and drag it and bring it over. Now we would like to connect our resource with our blender. To do this, we simply click at the bottom, hold it, and drag it over to the second spot in the blender. Notice that we can now see both of them in the Properties tab of the Blender. The Properties works very similar to Layers, as the top layer will always have priority over the second layer. We can deselect the top layer to notice that the tree is now displayed in our canvas. We can now manipulate the canvas as we wish. We can change the alpha, bring it down some, to blend the color and the resource together. Notice how it brings a green tint to the final picture. Let's bring it back up. Let's try differentiating the color. Notice how the tree is now green and the background is now purple. We can bring down the alpha sum if we wish. However, I think it looks better just like this. We are now ready to save our image. To save, we go to the top right and click Save As. We'll call this creation Green Tree 1. 
then we will click Save as New Creation. It will take a minute to save and a new window will open. It will give us a few different URLs. The URL we will be focusing on is the URL to view the image. This is the very first one. We highlight it, right click copy, and since we don't want to continue working on our creation, we'll just close out the window. And yes, we would like to confirm. Let's open up a new tab so we can view our creation. Now we paste the URL we just copied. Here we can see our created picture. Looks pretty good. You can now successfully manipulate images using Peacock. It's very simple and very easy to use. Go ahead and try it for yourself. And now I'd like to show you some additional resources. You can go to the Aviary dashboard, which is just the home page, to explore all the other Aviary tools and play around with them, or just navigate through the site as you please. You can view many more useful tutorials at aviary.com slash tutorials. Or you can keep up with the latest news and updates with Aviary at aviary.com slash blog. Again, thank you for watching my tutorial and have a good day.